uh, Walter. Uh, go on. Okay, there is, there is a question for Sanchez. Okay. Stand. Good morning, engineer. I have a question. And when you okay. choose the when you choose the 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 shell face, the shell face, you choose top. And is the same that we choose top or bottom, or we have to to change? Uh, in what part? In the mesh. And on on hydrostatic pressure, uh, when ah. we choose the, the the shell, the face of the shell. That doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Other question? No. Okay, so uh, the final step uh, is uh, click on solutions and then insert and select total deformation. And then insert in the stresses, uh, select equivalent bone misses. Okay, so as a, as a summary, you see the geometry that uh, we assign the, the, the thickness and the name. So mesh, we use two different mesh, one for the big element and other for the small element. Always check connections when your structure have several elements, boundary conditions, so fix the support for all the edges and then hydrostatic pressure. And then, select, and then uh, set up the solution that you want to see. So final step, you can solve. Click on solve. Okay, and uh, before to, to see the results, I, for, I forget, I forgot uh, this part in the mesh. <clears throat> I forget this part. Uh, how to see the quality of the mesh? I forget this part, so. So in the mesh, you can see, for example, uh, you see the mesh in static, in statistic, you see the number of the nodes and the node, the number of the element. So you can uh, check that this value don't pass the limit of the student version. Okay. And then in order to see the quality of the mesh, you can uh, go to the quality and then in the mesh metrics, you select, uh, there are many options to measure quality, but in this case, we are going to use element quality. So you see the minimum, maximum, the average, okay? So this value corresponds uh, uh, how distortional is the, the, the element con respect to a perfect cube. If the element is a perfect uh, hexahedron or, or, or cube or rectangle, uh, the element quality is close to the one. So the result is, uh, is, is good results, okay? But when the mesh is this element quality is close to the zero, so maybe the result is not uh, the, what's the words 
confiable. Trustable. 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 Okay. So, for example, you see that this part in you can select and you see, for example, so the element is a little distortional and the other elements, for example, this other element is not a perfect cube, right? So, but in general, the average is 0 0.9, that this value is, it's acceptable. Okay, and you see, for example, uh, this part. So, uh, almost the total element is close to the, is close to the, to the one. Okay, you see. So there are some distortion because uh, there are different mesh, one for the plate and other for the for the web and the connection between it, between that. So, but in general, it's okay the mesh. So, engineer. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is. How to see? How to see that this the discretization in this part in this part. Click. Okay, and uh, there uh, you see my 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 uh, my screen right in the mesh metric. So you see the lower part. You can select, for example, uh, one of the these columns. You can select the other columns, the other columns, the other columns, and you see the the number of the element uh, around of the value for example around on the value of the one around the value of the 0 0.9 uh, maybe uh, I we have to uh, uh, worry about the element that is close to the zero for example this this part this, For example, this this column, this column, right there. But uh, the element so is is some 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 element. There is not the all structure areas. Okay, thank you. Okay, so okay. And now we are now go to the solutions. So you see Eesh. the total deformation, but uh, don't worry because <laughs> the, the, the scale, <laughs> the, the scale is higher. Okay, you see, for example, the units so is in meters. So maybe the maximum deflection is three millimeters. 3.5 millimeters, so you see. But in order to, to put a, a different scale, so you can uh, go to the, maybe the salt, and then for example, out scale, you can put through scale, and you see the, the true deflection, okay? You can see that the maximum deflection is between of the pan. Can okay. I, I see people? You see that there are three of these red dots, right? And the one in the middle is larger. Okay. Those on the sides, they suffer, they support the boundary condition that we assume. What is the boundary condition that we assume? Clamp it, clamp it. Those in the center, in the center, you probably can imagine that the frames can deform a little bit. And when they deform a little bit, you see that the, the area of this red is larger. 
That means that if you take one single spacing between frames and assume that it is clamped on both edges, then you will have lower uh, deflections than in reality. That's why in some cases, if, if you want to analyze, for example, the, the bulk head, what is the suggestion that we do? You take the, the bulk head and then include in the model some adjacent structure. So you do not have to assume that the edges are clamped because in some cases, like in this one, you are including extra stiffness on the model. So we have to be always careful with that. Okay? Go on, Isaac, I'm sorry. Okay. For the, so this is Rasul about total deformation and the equivalent upon mis stresses. You can see that the maximum value Mm -hmm. uh, is 92 megapascal. So it is the maximum value is in the, in the edge and the connection between the flange to the, to the web. Can you, so, how can you reduce, okay. how can you reduce this stress concentration people? Any idea? Uh, we can uh, change the shape of the, uh, of this part of the structure, we can uh, 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 we can do this edge more round. Exactly. Or include what? Do a chamfer. See, the, the problem is that you have it's like having a vertical wall, and you have the frame connected to it. So you have a, this corner. That's in relation of shear uh, stress concentration. What can we do in order to the avoid bracket. it? Include what? Bracket. Bracket. Exactly. Bracket. A bracket. So you connect the two elements in a more soft way. So that's what we insisted in the, if you see that in the plan by engineering SAG includes a bracket, you have to include them in your model to, evo to avoid these, these problems. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, is, is, uh, go on. Is there anybody who was able to complete the exercise? Go on in January. So ask uh, if somebody can share his or her screen so we can see the, okay. the final results. Let me stop sharing. Um, maybe some student can share your, your results. Volunteer. Some volunteer. Volunteers of America. Hey, hey, doctor. Hey, engine. Bye, yes. Okay. Go on. I, I don't share. Okay, you... now you can share now. You can ah, share now. Okay, okay, thank you. But I, <laughs> I like with main, <laughs> uh, main elements. Yeah, no, I know. Nice, <laughs> three point two millimeters of deformation. It's going to break. It's going to break. Yes. What pressure did, <laughs> you, did, you, did uh, what pressure did you use? What draft did you use for the pressure? Hydrostatic pressure. Um, three meters. Three meters. Okay. Did yes. anybody use a different draft? Did anybody mm -hmm. use a different draft? Yes, I used a 3.5. Okay, can you show us? Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, thank you, Valles. Thank you. Thank you, Valles. Good work. Okay, thank you. Can you see the screen? Yep. Yep. Here is the hydrostatic pressure, 3.5. Okay, and what was the results? Here are the results. Yeah, 4.2, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense, larger deformation because you have more pressure. And how about the stresses? Did you have the stresses? Oh, well, man, that's Pascal's, 
that's uh, what? 128 newtons per millimeter squared. So that's about safety factor of two. Right. But uh, can, you, can you identify the place where this maximum stress is located? Uh, yeah. The maximum stress? Yeah, where, where uh, it is? Uh, the plates uh, uh, that we have in the bottom. Okay, can you show so us, the, can you make a zoom? Zoom. Uh, to see the, the, the place where it occurs. Here? Oh, that's strange. Okay. Anybody else? We we'll have more time for one more. Anybody else? Good work, Peralta. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, Galarza, go on. Oh, can you share your screen? No? Good. You're a good instructor, Jorge Zach. Oh, sorry, I was I was muted. I I say that that I'm on the on the cell phone, not on the computer because when okay. I'm in the computer. Good, the, good. The Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh Miss Lopez, do you have your results? Can I see your results, Miss Lopez? Miss Lopez, can you can I see your results? Good morning. No, my computer no generated. Oh, come on. Samora, you were going to show us something, Samora? Yes, I can. Okay, go on. I was Okay, and the maximum result is 3.57. And the pressure, what was the pressure that we're using? Uh, for three. Okay, three minutes. Did anybody use 2.5? Did anybody use 2.5? I used 2.5. Okay, can you share the screen with us, please? Two point five. So we should have what? Wow, <laughs> 75 uh, newtons per millimeter square, nice. And the deflection, yeah, less than three. Makes sense, isn't it? Makes sense. Okay, um, good. Uh, some final uh, comments, people. Um, next uh, Wednesday, we have uh, two uh, technical, two technical uh, presentations. One is from engineer uh, Marcelo Cali. Right now he works in Astinave and uh, he used to had some experience in, in Cotecmar for several years. So he will be presenting something about vibrations, okay? Uh, and then engineer Miguel Onofre, uh, he's working in NIRSA and he did a fine, uh, fine element analysis and he has, he has to use a, he has to analyze a, a fiberglass reinforced plastic structure. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit different than the one that you, that we're seeing here. Okay, here, this is a isotropic material. That's a, a little bit different, it's composite. So he has to think about all, all these membranes effects that we have to have. Okay, so all of these layers, I'm sorry, that's the correct word. Okay, so it's gonna be interesting. So it's gonna be this Wednesday at seven, the first one and 7.30 next one. Okay, and finally for next, uh, next uh, Thursday, okay, next Thursday, we're gonna do progress control. I'm going to say something about uh, stress analysis, okay? And finally, we're going to do an evaluation of the one of the student outcomes that we have to do. Okay, it's about continuous learning. It's just, just a very simple thing. You don't have to. You're not going to be graded on that. 
is that we want to see if you have any idea of uh, what that means, okay? Uh, there are several ways that you can learn and people probably are not aware of that. But we need to uh, just start thinking about those things, okay? Uh, any final question, people? So right now you have all, all uh, uh, tools. Everything is on your side. So right now it's a matter of uh, doing. Uh, something which are, I'm really worried about is that everybody has to participate in the project. Everybody has to be able to work both in order to prepare an analysis, structural analysis and finite elements. Everybody. Okay, so please, please. Uh, so I'll see you Thursday. No, I'll see you Wednesday first and then Thursday. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Doctor. Hey, Doctor, thank you.